everyone so i had such amazing feedback when everyone saw this amazing teacup and saucer project using our fantastic flower forming dies so i thought what i would do is i would record a whole tutorial teaching you the three basic types of flower techniques that you would need to learn and then show you how to assemble the whole cup and saucer project so you can follow along and see how to do everything step by step so if you're watching along today, you want to get all the stuff that we're using. Basically, what I've done is put together a starter kit. So this is the starter kit that I had on at Craftaganzet. What you need in your starter kit, you'll realise you need the actual form itself to work with. Then we need the dies. So I've included the peony die, which is the main one we're going to be working with today. And also the lily, because that will give you two completely different shapes of flowers. You will also get the petal distress tool, which I'll teach you how to use today. You'll also get the flower forming tools and the special sponge and all of the stamens that you need. So I'm going to start off by showing you the flower techniques. Once we've got a couple of flowers under our belt, I'll show you how we construct the teacup. What you basically, it's, it's actually super clever. What we're going to use is a teacup and saucer and a, and a little spoon. So all you need, a teacup, a saucer and a spoon, and I'm going to show you how to glue it together to get this fabulous cascading effect, okay? So you're going to start with a regular teaspoon and you can use a big spoon if you want, but remember, the bigger the spoon, the more space you've got to fill, right? So I just take the teaspoon and basically bend it upwards, right? So can you see, so we just bend it upwards like this. And then in this bit, you'll probably want a pair of pliers for, right? We're going to bend the top part of the spoon over. So this is definitely a job for hubby <laughs> or your son or whoever when he pops around uh, if you need a bit of strength i did all of the spoon bending in the class whilst everyone was on making their flowers now can you see what i've done i've bent this and then instead of 90 degrees i've over bent it right so i've over bent it forwards now that's because let's have a look i need to know by the way if we're going with the the, the flowery one or the plain one right now when if you look up tutorials on how to do this on the internet what most of them suggest is that you're pouring the cup from here down to here right so if you do that what you need to do is if you think about it the way it's going to be at the back so every time it wants to tip backwards so to overcompensate you put loads of weights in here like a pound's worth of two pence pieces now what i do is just fix my teacup pouring over the front like this which means everything's to a center of gravity in the middle which means it's going to stick easier right now i'm going to first of all start by sticking let's have a look we've got uh, uh, by the way it was flowers that won so we're going to go with the flowery ones we've got a big flower on the top a little flower on the bottom so i'm going to stick mine like this with the handles kind of top left and the bit inside so all i do is take my glue gun and we're just going to put a couple of little squirts of glue not too much on the base of the spoon there oh and stick it inside here like this right now it does take a couple of seconds so i'm just leaving you can see there the glue is just setting there so i'm going to leave that glue to set a little bit a couple of minutes and then we're going to stick the teacup on the top so if i want to stick it here for example we'll have it here and we'll have the flowers spurting out around here so you can still see this so what i'm going to do is take that glue gun and just put a load of glue on the bottom here right so plenty of it so i've got a big splurge of glue and then that is going to sit into the center right so what i'm doing is i'm just holding it in place while all of that sets so just giving it a couple of seconds right now this is balancing beautifully right that's because I've done quite a few of these over the past few weeks. So I'm, I'm quite the expert at getting that balance beautiful, but it's all to do with the angle that you've got going up the base of the teacup here. So if it doesn't set, can you see, I've just got mine tilted in a little bit. So if yours is toppling over, all you need to do is hold this and, and tilt it towards you as you're going, okay? So it's just a little, takes a little bit of practice. Uh, it might not be the first one you do, and don't worry if it falls off, even if it's got all your flowers on. I'll let you into a bit of a secret. This one here was in three bits this morning. So it had travelled up, it's been on its travels with me all over, been on display, and was broke. the cup was separate to the flowers, was separate to the saucer. So all I did was a little blob of glue, stuck it all back together, a little bit more glue gun. You'd never know it had had a repair job done on it, okay? What I do first of all is cover down the base of the spine, all right? So let me just get, you'll need a lot of uh, hot glue for this. 
So if I just get a couple of spare glue sticks, then I'm ready to go, all right? So you're gonna come in with your glue gun and I'm gonna put a little bit down the edge of here and then I'm gonna to touch it. Now this is where you've gotta be really, really careful and gentle not to burn yourself, okay? So it's the, it's the glue gun that I find is lethal in all of this as opposed to the, uh, the iron. Maybe it's just because we're very conscious of the iron uh, and not so conscious of the glue gun. So I'm just doing that little bit of heating as we go along and I'm just going to apologise in advance if I am right in the way of you seeing exactly what I'm doing. But uh, it's challenging enough for me to see, let alone for me to be able to show you, right? So I've just covered all the way down the back of the spoon there. Don't worry, we can make it look better towards the end, but I just want to cover up the spoon first of all. I'm going to do the same inside. So I'm going to start with a little bit of glue up here. And I'm going to pop my uh, first little leaf. Oh, is that one being bent? I don't think I've bent that one. So I'm going to pop my first little leaf up here. Got that going up there. And then this one in place. Now you can stick as many of these leaves into place as you want. So if you want it to look more uh, authentic, you can put all the leaves exactly where you want them to, to appear. And the more foliage you add on, the more realistic the whole project's going to look. So start with your foliage. Uh, and then work your flowers up into the gaps, all right? So I think that's on there. A little bit more down here. And you can always go and pick off the edges of your glue a little bit later. So here we go, and I've got a nice bit of a gap there, but I think a flower, well, I'll put another leaf in there just to make, just to be on the safe side. Uh, but we can also get some flowers covering that towards the end as well, all right? So you're gonna go down there. Uh, oh, my glue's just running out. Get a new stick of glue in there. So remember, we're going to use a lot of our flowers as well to cover some of this. So you don't need to cover every inch of the spoon. You just need to get it started, right? Now let's start popping in some of the flowers. So this is my favourite flower. So we're going to start with this. Now here's what we do. Take your scissors and just chop off the back part, right? So it's nice and flat. And we're going to place that in the centre of the cup. So blob of glue in the middle. And, and the heat, uh, the... Hot glue is the easiest way to work from it, right? So your hot one goes in there. Uh, so there's our, our first flower. Now I think we'll pop some down here. So if we get this one off uh, down here, and then again, we'll just pop a blob of glue on there. And I tend to find for a project like this, around about six flowers looks really fantastic, right? So here's my little cuppy one, and we'll go with the cuppy one in the edge here. All right, so we're just going to the edge. This is the bit that everybody always seems nervous about. It's kind of positioning the flowers in place, okay? So you can see we've already got three of the flowers on there and it's starting to look really, really good. If you've ever got any little gaps to fill and you just want to fill them with a bit of a flower, right? What you can do is you can make a little bud with your iron, right? So if I take the, just the smallest flower here and all I'm going to do is use the iron, heating it up, overheat it right so that's at the point which you'd let it drop off keep it going keep it going keep it going knock it off right and you can see it will completely form into a little bud like this and hold it in place as it's drying right as it's drying as it's cooling down so that will cool in the form of a little blood and what i'm going to do is i'm going to just pop a little bit of glue onto the edge there right and then I'm going to place this inside one of these little bits. I'm just putting a little bud, as so it was a little flower, just kind of bud, just coming into place in the middle there. Look at that. And it was just a really quick and easy make. Now, bear in mind, I've done all my flowers here quite, um, I just kept them quite simple the same size what you can do is if you want to draw any of the you know the the veins in the petals if you want to draw veins into your leaves you can use your alcohol pens and that's something hillary's been asking about you can use all of your alcohol pens to draw any of the detail into these so your, your water resistant ink pads are going to be what you can do the coloring with or your um your alcohol pens your spectrum noirs or any type of alcohol pen are going to be what you're going to be using to then color any of these up so a little bit of a little bit of glue onto there and I'm going to do the same again. I'm just going to put a little bud as though it's just it's coming out of here. And they just look very, very authentic on there, right? So we've got a little bit to cover off down here. These flowers have had a chance to cool. So just coming in with my scissors 
uh, cutting off the edges of the flowers here. Now I've just done a few flowers here to give you a bit of a feel. Uh, it's up to you how many flowers you want to do. You just need to make sure you do enough to cover your spoon, right? Uh, or if, I know some people like to to do a fork. You can absolutely use a fork. Um, where should I do this? I can put it down the corner or I can put it up. Oh, should we put it on the edge up here? I think it looks quite nice up there. Um, and I'm just using the hot glue gun always to affix these in place, right? And you can see you, you really don't need much. I haven't had to use many flowers there at all to get this really effective look. And I've completely covered up the spoon from the front and the back so it truly looks like that cup and saucer. The cup is suspended above the saucer. I'm going to do one last little um, bud. So I did that, that uh, flower that I coloured up at the beginning is a spare. So I've got a nice little coloured bud which is going to match my one colour of the ruffled one. So I've got that one little tiny bud, uh, bringing that into place. And actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a nice, nice little, um, nice little blob of glue and put that, uh, put that leaf in the bottom there. So oh, just want to make sure I'm just popping that under here. And my little, little petal, my little bud there, I'll just go in the edge as though it's just growing out of there, okay? So any of these little leaves will just all tuck into place if you want extras on there. I think they do look quite nice. Um, just a little bit on there, kind of tucked under here, coming out. You see, it just makes it look a little bit more authentic, right? So you can continue adding as much as you want on there, but can you see how, you know, I've been on an hour here, and, and taught you how to do three different types of flower techniques and how to position the spoon and the teacup there together and make a fantastic gift.